this is my third in a row now. Yeah, so you're I'm, just, like, I'm already I'm like two glasses <laughs> in, I'm two glasses deep. I'm still wearing the same shirt. That's how you know when I'm. Oh, yeah. You're just, yeah, wait, like, I've actually. Jacob has the same shirt through all these videos. <laughs> all these videos. So we are here, this is Jacob from Finergy, we are here in the, uh, the world headquarters of Wine Racks America. And actually when this airs, the world headquarters might have moved a block down. We'll probably be a block down the street. Oh, yeah. a block down. So it'll still be easy to find, which is much bigger. Much bigger. This is Christian Hancock. He is the general manager, I think is your mm -hmm. current title of choice. Basically, he's the day-to-day you know, -day ops of this place, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so we are really thrilled to be here and visiting you. I get to see you a couple times a year, so mm -hmm. it's always a pleasure. Um, I always like to uh, lubricate these conversations because alcohol makes things sound better, at least to me. They do. Um, I picked up the show. It's a Malbec from Mendoza. I, I picked it up because the name of the show. I'm like, how can you not try to wine and the, the show? And, and look at that label. Yeah. I want to. It's beautiful. I'm trying to go to Mendoza because I want to see vineyards and with mountain back, yeah. like twenty thousand foot mountain back. <laughs> so let's see if this tastes like the show. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Slide. Yeah, the like the show. <laughs> Got caught in my beard. <laughs> beard wine. Beard, yeah. <laughs> beard wine is a not good wine. <laughs> Alright, so you need ten words. What do you think? I think it's great. I mean it's a uh, little earthy. A little like it needs to breathe a little bit, I think, but it's still really good. Does it live up to the name of the show? I think it will. <laughs> a fair point, and, and actually, I do. I drink a lot of Argentinian Malbec, mm -hmm. and this bottle was like eleven bucks. Oh wow! Um, this is. I'll tell you right off the bat. Um, while I won't say this is the hand, you know the best Malbec I've ever had, this is like one of the best values. I Very think. solid. I yeah. would have guessed twenty bucks. Oh easy. yeah, easy. Everybody easy. says it's like that. twenty, thirty bucks. And that that photo, and I'm going to do this. I don't yeah. know if that's actually going to show up Focus. on this. Focus. Focus. That is just a really cool label. It is a um, cool. really happy. So. I love the insight you can provide because you've worked for Wine Racks America, which is really the leader in kind of, I'll call it like the digital age of wine cellars, right? You guys have put wine cellars on the internet. Yeah, I guess we can say uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in the last 10 years, I mean, first, what made you guys think you could sell wine? I mean, wine racks are naturally a thing I would think e-commerce friendly. Because it's, yeah. What made you think it would work? Well, I think it's the way this company started. Uh, Jeff Oxwell, who started the company, uh, is, is very web savvy, and he had already owned a couple of web businesses that did well. Um, saw that other companies were already doing it, and knew that he could do it better. Yeah. So that's how he started. Started in his garage, building some small, just one-off racks, yeah. and then now we're doing wine cellars all over the world. So it, it, it's worked out. I think uh, depending on who your audience is, they're all on the web. Sure. So we we typically I mean people come to us for wine cellars and we just give them what they want as close to as we can get with our our what we call our custom kit wood yeah. racking. We mix in a lot of vintage view and uh, it seems to be really successful. I mean we have a lot of clients that stick with us through the years and and it's been a great gig. It's yeah. Been, and what we love what we do is because you guys have, I mean, and I wish that I had the video skills to go do like a whole thing back in, in, <laughs> in the mill, a full mill that does like all this cool, like I've learned so many wood geeky terms like glued up wood and sand, I don't even know what these, heads banding <laughs> yeah. and this stuff that I don't ever do in my, you know, and it, but it's cool, you see the stuff being made right there mm -hmm. and then it looks so cool with the stuff that we do and then all of a sudden you've got these beautiful sellers, right? Oh yeah, and the mix together with, yeah. with Vintage View and Wine Racks America wood racking is, is hands down some of the funnest stuff we do because it's it gives people exactly exactly what they want. I mean, it, we, we can go with a classic wood cellar, which you know is our bread and butter, yeah. and I I mean we sell a ton of it. But you know these days people do want something a little bit different, and putting them together is kind of bridging that gap between modern and classic. I think yeah, transitional though. We're yeah, really transitional. Time, transitional is a perfect word. Yeah. All right. So in, in ten years, what's the single biggest change you've seen in the wine? I want to say wine rack, wine cellar design. I would, I would say in the last 10 years, I would it, probably accessibility. I mean, Americans typically get what they want and they, they're not scared to spend a lot of money to get what they want. But that's not so much it either. I mean, we have, we can, uh, wine cellars these days are accessible to anyone that wants right. one. And there's a wine cellar out for almost every budget. We, we do a lot of small closets and that's, that's fine with us. We, design, we can design a small closet in a million different ways. Yeah and make it usable for almost anyone. And I would say the biggest change has just come on in the last couple of years and it's, it has to do with glass and metal. Yeah. And uh, 
and uh, people, it should be the name of a restaurant. Glass of metal. Yeah. <laughs> if glass of metal opens up in, in downtown Salt Lake, yeah. you know where it came. From. <laughs> yeah, you know where the idea came from originally. Yeah, I would say the the idea of taking a whole room to make a wine cellar has, I mean, that still happens, of course, people with big collections, but a lot of people just say, well, I'm just gonna take the end of this room, do one solid glass wall panel, and put the wine racks behind it, and vintage is perfect, perfect for that, because it doesn't take up much room. Yeah, depth, this is three bottles deep, and it's, it, it can sit in two feet of glass, so. I didn't pay for <laughs> to say these such nice things about the wine racks. Um, do you have a cellar at your house or display? I do. I do. I have a wooden cellar that's about. Uh, you guys can't see this, but it's about like that. It's a tasting table with racks on the other side. Maybe I'll take a bottles. picture and I'll super. I'll send you a picture. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very simple. I, I mean, Utah is a very conservative state, so we don't do a whole lot of wine cellars in our own state. Yeah. We typically tend to do business on the coasts, uh, which is interesting. And people, when they find out that we're in Utah, they always say, "Well, what are you doing in Utah? Why, why aren't you in California?" Because we like to ski. We like to ski, and we, it's a lot cheaper to do business out here. <laughs> fair, fair point. Um, I mean, you've seen probably uh, tens of thousands of sellers come through the design channels here. Any? Is there one that stands out in your mind? Yeah, there, there's a lot. One, one that I really love. That I, there, there's a lot of photos out on the internet of, of it. It's we call it the Stave Cellar. It's in Sonoma, California. It's a, it's a really unique dark wood cellar that combines a lot of lot of wood, a lot of uh, wine barrel wood in the form of staves. That they did this kind of articulate way they put it all together with light behind it. Yeah. Vintage U racks all up and down. Case storage made out of wood. Um, just a very versatile cellar. Old world yet new, but it doesn't look new at all because they made it all blend together. Yeah. So that's probably one of my favorite cellars, and that's one that. We've, we get a lot of action on people. Yeah. We'll see aspects of that cellar, and they'll want. Well, I just want that little piece of that wine cellar. And Very cool. So it's a it's a fun cellar, and I think you know, a lot of people notice it. Right yeah. Off, so. Well, you already stole my thunder. I was going to ask you, like, you know, the audacity of trying to sell wine cellars online it seemed like a thing, novel idea ten years ago. I was going to say the same thing about Salt Lake and very concerned yeah. wine culture, but you already <laughs> covered that for me. So I think we'll just finish this off with I think the most important question: If uh, you're celebrating a big occasion birthday, anniversary, what have you. Is there like a, a, a celebratory wine that you, you you seek out? Yeah, I like I like really earthy, peppery caps. Um, anything that goes good with bloody red meat. Uh, you know, I like a- You just painted a picture of <laughs> yeah. Bloody red There's meat, something earthy, like a, peppery cap. Yeah, those two go together like like kids and drugs. I don't know what it is, but it's a- uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to comment on that last one. But it's uh, something that just goes together really well. I, I don't know, Silver Oak makes a, a pretty uh, common, well, I think a meticulously yeah. well put together cap. Um, so like what? The, the, I, I like Camus with, with, with uh, not that I like to buy it, I just like to drink it. So you like someone to buy it for you? I like someone to buy it for me. So who's going to buy it for us? Yeah. <laughs> I always want to put up a GoFundMe link to like, you know. A like, wine fund? A wine fund. <laughs> be like, we would like, uh, you know, let me, my birth year, I don't even know if 80 was a good vintage. I want a 1980 Silver Oak. Yeah, yeah. GoFundMe. Yeah. Uh, Chateau Lafitte 1980 would be awesome. I would take. I would probably take that one. Uh, if, if anyone wants to pay for that, we will report back to you how good it was. Yeah, we'll do a video of that. Absolutely. We will do a video. Yes. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you. Cheers. Always a pleasure hanging out and drinking wine in Salt Lake City. Same here. Thank you. And we will see you next time.